Hi everyone, let us discuss this example. So what we have, we have two Cauchy sequences Xn and Yn, both are Cauchy in a matrix space Xd. See with the help of Xn and Yn, new sequence is formed D of Xn Yn. So it gives the distance between Xn and Yn. That means distance between X1, Y1, distance between X2, Y2, distance between X3, Y3. In this way, we have got a sequence of distances, right? So obviously it is, it is a sequence of real numbers. We have to prove that it is a Cauchy sequence in R du. Du means a usual matrix. D of x, y is equal to mod x minus y, right? So let us start to prove. Our target is to prove this sequence is a Cauchy sequence. Obviously, I'm going to use epsilon definition to prove this thing. Let us start with, uh, start with one epsilon. Let epsilon greater than 0 be given. So right now we have two informations. Xn is Cauchy, Yn is also Cauchy. So let us use given information one by one. We have we have xn is Cauchy sequence. So it is Cauchy in matrix space xd. So I am going to use the definition of Cauchy sequence. That definition says for given epsilon greater than 0. Epsilon already we have taken. So I will write for above epsilon. So therefore for above epsilon greater than zero, there exists a natural number n such that, such that d of xn xm less than epsilon for all n m greater than or equal to capital M, right? See a small adjustment I am going to do that is instead of epsilon, I will write epsilon by two, right? Epsilon means a small positive real number. Epsilon by 2 has the same meaning. So that's why definitely for adjustment purpose, we can do this. Let me call it as 1. Okay. So I use the first information. Xn is Cauchy. Let us use the second information. That is Yn is also Cauchy. We have Yn is Cauchy. Okay in matrix space xd so therefore again we can write therefore same epsilon i am going to use okay so i should write therefore for above epsilon greater than zero there exists a natural number n see here also we are getting natural number so let us call them differently that means let us call it as n1 and let us call it as n2 such that such that what will i get d of yn ym less than epsilon by 2 for all nm greater than or equal to n2. Now the problem is that this inequality is true for n1. The second inequality is true for n2. So what will I do? I will choose maximum of n1 and n2. Then both inequalities will be true simultaneously. Okay. So let me mention here. Let n is equal to maximum of n1 and n2 okay then 1 and 2 will be true will be true for this n now no need to worry we can use both inequalities anywhere okay for this capital n so yes so let us start to solve this one by triangle inequality okay triangle inequality so what will i do i will start with d of x n y okay i'm starting with d of x n y so let us talk about what is triangle inequality so this is the fourth property of a matrix right so we have already studied matrix matrix space so this is fourth property of matrix it says if you have three points a b c if you have three points get it so distance between AC, distance between AC, this distance is less than or equal to distance between AB, distance between A and B plus distance between B and C. So one triangle is formed. So that's why we call it as a triangle inequality. So here generally we take three points, but you can write the same thing for four points, five points like that. So here I'm going to write for four points. Okay, so let us see how we can write. Uh, here xn y 
points we have already taken you can easily see i'm going to introduce x same and y so let us see what can we write okay so distance between x and y this distance is less than or equal to let me write less than or equal to can you guess what what we need to write this distance is less than or equal to distance between this one plus distance between this one plus distance between this one one quadrilateral is form but see this is the generalized form of triangle inequality so i can write d less than or equal to d of x n x m plus d of x m y m plus d of y m y n okay so i got this one now what will i do i am going to shift this d of x n y m in left hand side it has plus sign if you shift it here it will have minus sign therefore d of x n y m minus d of x m y m less than or equal to what we have d of xn xm plus this term is also remaining there d of ym yn is same as yn ym so uh, i am using symmetry here if you interchange the distance will be same distance of a from b is same as distance of b from a so that's why if you interchange you will get the same distance this is so much important thing let us call it as uh, star let us call it as star right uh see uh, now now what will i do i will start with d of x m y okay so initially we started with d of x and y now i'm going to consider d of x m y okay same thing i am going to write just make a screenshot of it first then i will go further right so let us continue uh see let me show here with the help of diagram that x m y i have considered okay so now i am going to consider two additional points x and y so distance between x and y can you guess so this is less than or equal to what this distance plus this distance plus this distance right so i should write here this is less than or equal to d of x m x n x m x n plus d of x n y n plus d of y n y m okay y n y m will you guess the next step so now i am going to bring this term here d of x n y n i am going to bring here it has plus sign if you shift it here it will have minus sign let me write so minus d of x n y n plus this term already we have in left hand side d of x n y m less than or equal to in the right hand side still two terms are remaining this one and this one so d of what we have xm xn but see we can easily interchange by the proper uh, symmetric property so therefore d of xn xm plus d of here y n y m y n y m so let me call it as double star okay so what we get uh, see Uh, did you notice one thing in star and double star the right hand side is same d of x n x m x n x m d of y n y m y n y m but the left hand sides are different let us try to understand what is actual difference in left hand sides here d of x n y n minus d of x m y m here exactly we have opposite here it has minus sign plus sign minus sign but in this case it has minus sign plus sign okay all the remaining part is same so from star and double star what can we conclude from star and double star we can directly write plus minus here we are getting plus here we are getting minus plus minus d of x n y n minus d of x m y m less than or equal to left hand side remains same so d of x n x m plus d of y n y m so that means both cases are covered here right plus minus plus minus that means we can replace it by mod since you know the mod a is plus minus a so therefore we can replace it by mod so mod d of x n y n minus d of x m y m less than or equal to d of x n x m plus d of 
y n y m right since mod gives either plus value or minus value and both of them are less than or equal to right hand side so that's why mod is also less than or equal to right hand side okay but see d of x n x m is less than epsilon by 2 we have already got it in first uh, inequality right plus this is also less than epsilon by 2 with condition n and m greater than or equal to capital n right uh, i should mention from 1 and 2 epsilon by 2 plus epsilon by 2 is obviously epsilon so that's why this mod is less than epsilon just make a screenshot of it then we will go further so let us conclude so therefore what can we write therefore therefore mod d of xn y n minus d of xm y m less than epsilon for all n m greater than or equal to capital n okay so in case of a uh, real matrix space we say mod n minus m less than epsilon for all n m greater than or equal to capital n then we say the sequence is cauchy see the same thing we have here n is nothing but d of x n y n m is nothing but d of x m y and this is less than epsilon and mod is also there so therefore we can say it is a cauchy sequence in r so let me mention so therefore that d of x n y n is a cauchy sequence in r d u with usual matrix usual matrix means this mod a minus b okay so in this way we have completed its solution so just make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you in next video